go. The Yamaha MT-03 pipe has been removed. This 18-pound modern marvel of painted stainless steel 304 is uh, complete with a three-way catalytic converter, that big knobby thing there, and an oxygen sensor. Here I'm weighing 187.1 with the pipe and 168.6 without the pipe. That makes the 18.5 pounds. Here's all the hardware I removed from the exhaust, and that's the toolkit that I used to remove this exhaust and the cowl from underneath the bike. Here we can see the Yamaha MT-03 underneath this rear bracket for the foot peg and brake. There's the oxygen sensor. There's a special twisting trick for that one. Here's where the pipe route's underneath, and we can see the front where the exhaust exits the engine. And those are the exhaust studs on which the flanges of the exhaust sit. Those copper washers go in those holes. Take a look at what the MT-03 looks like without the exhaust. I taped these into place. Now, in retrospect, I wish I wouldn't have taped them so close. Here, this is an absolutely messy glass fiber project. You have to wear gloves, you have to wear a mask, and you need to wear eye protection. As you unravel the glass fiber from a roll, small pieces of glass fiber rain down all over your tools and work surface. I used three different wet wipes in three different passes to wipe down the surface. I went through at least half a dozen pair of gloves doing this. If you sipe your finger past the edge of the glass fiber, it cuts like a knife. The stuff is sharp. Here I had to pinch and fold in order to get past these bends. I'm not sure what the procedure is here. Um, some people said you're supposed to wet the stuff. I did it dry and then coated it with a conformal silicon. Later of that, later in the video. If you pre-fold the roll over um, towards you repeatedly, it helps to make loops and rearrange the orientation of the tape uh, or of the glass fiber such that it will make concentric rings around the pipe. So you'll see that I flip over the roll and uh, I leave enough slack that I can go all the way around the top. And what we're doing here is I, I started at the top and went down on one side and then back up. And I'm doing the same thing on this side. I'm going to do one level down all the way to the Y and then fold it over once uh, to finish the loop. And you want to snug it. Every time you make a loop, you want to pull it kind of snug and tight. And you, you can pull back and forth like that on one side or the other. And the idea is a nice snug fit because this is going to vibrate pretty heavily. You don't want the stuff moving around. Um, so you snug each layer and you pull the, the tape. You pull it really snug with each layer and you, you pull and, and you push and fold with your fingers and you just keep tugging and you tug it till it's nice and snug like this. And don't worry about it. it's not an aesthetic thing. You're, you're trying to retain heat in the pipe. This is a thermal thing, so it's not going to be the most beautiful. Here, here's where I fold the roll. So by introducing those forward rings, it enables it to fold around the header like that. And then it lines it up so that it doesn't get tangled. And that's the real trick is you want to keep rotating that roll and give yourself enough slack. And you see here as you zoom in that what you, the idea here is you're going to pinch inward and then fold over. Um, and that way we can send the roving back up. And there's not a lot of clearance down here on the Yamaha's uh, pipe assembly. Uh, so I couldn't do any more than two layers. Um, so what we're seeing here is the result of uh, that two layer setup on it. Now that I finished, I used stainless steel zip ties uh, to retain the final ends. I folded over the ends so there isn't any rough uh, glass pointing out, and then did a double zip tie. There was one zip tie originally to hold it, so that used six stainless steel zip ties. That's exactly how many were included with the kit from Amazon, a staggering $12. Here we can see after I applied one layer of conformal silicone coating, and after another layer of high temperature silicone uh, paint. I used the hair dryer, um, an 1875 watt uh, Revel hair dryer to bake it off. I later used a propane torch, but we'll see that in the next video.